Welcome back to War Thunder and welcome aboard the A6 M5 Co, the Japanese 4.7 premium fighter. And again, this is one of my most reliable fighters and I think I have seen everything in this plane. I guarantee you this. And there is absolutely nothing that surprise, that can surprise me eventually. And I want to show... Le fuck? Um, okay, that's new. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, welcome back to War Thunder and welcome aboard the A6 M5 Co Ryzen, which is a Japanese rank 4 battle rating 4.7 premium planes. And again, this is one of my oldest premiums. And what you just saw in the first 40 seconds never happened, of course. So let's talk about bit about the battle that you will see. This is by far one of the ones that I would not have shown um, in terms of kills or you know pure performance but more of a discussion you know about easy mode. Easy mode has always certain aspects to it like it is a straightforward playstyle. It has something to do with the performance of your vehicle, the performance of the opponent team's vehicles, um, the circumstances, and the attitude. And in this respect, I think the Zero, as I call all A6 variants, you know, they, they just, they are love. I love them. I absolutely love them. They are probably one of the best mid-tier turn fighters that there are. Yes, they are slow. Yes, they have limited um, amounts of yeah, weapons and ammunition. On the other hand, it doesn't matter because you get it on target. Because you have such a very, very good maneuverability and you have yeah, always the chance to just make your shots count. I just cut out like one minute of uh, flying here and climbing. And on this map, it's always the right island where the Americans just demonstrate how awesome they are at ground striking. And that's probably the first argument of easy mode. Um, the Zero in by itself doesn't have outstandingly good kind of stats. You know, it's not very fast, it doesn't have the highest climb rate, it's not the fastest diver and um, the only real outstanding thing is the maneuverability in terms of the elevator. Because again, the roll rate isn't the greatest. That sounds a little bit like the Typhoon, although there is a huge difference between the Typhoon and the Zero in terms of actual maneuverability. And the Zero is a plane that I would take on any fighter in the game in a one versus one scenario and they are dead from the beginning they just don't know it yet and when you lose in a one versus one scenario or in any battle it's mostly your fault or triple a had a word to say about your plane now here this is in, in a moment you will see the beginning of the downfall of the American team and I have not even fired a single shot. And now it's also not the J2M down there that is destroying them all. Watch and enjoy because this is the demonstration of why American teams lose. And then we have our first customer. F82 crashed. Oh, Napalm. That's just... That's rude. Maybe, you know, he was stuck and maybe he was damaged and the kill was not accounted and maybe what if... Oh, a brigand crashed. Well, too bad. Too bad. Uh, you know, but those were just two crashes, right? Just just two crashes. And, you know, this uh, PBY cannot possibly crash. And you are right to a certain degree. He is so damaged that he actually decides to bomb himself. Yes, but he was shot at, at with the uh, J2M before. There is a P38 incoming soon. Where is he? There's a P61 and there is the P38. A little defensive flying, you know, so it's how did you screw that up? <laughs> I 
I'm, I'm sorry, but it's it's just. <laughs> I have not fired a single shot in anger. Yes, my engine is a bit overheating. Now I'm controlling it with Mac. But, you know, those scenes are just hilarious. Yeah, but, you know, is that everything? Well, let's, let's, let's have a look at the actual handling of the Zero. The Spitfire does not even try to maneuver with me. I love Spitfires that decide to turn with me because they are so easy to take out. Even without flaps, you outturn them, and when you use flaps and throttle control, oi, 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 you are one of the fastest turners in the game. And then we see another thing, and that is lemming training. Look at that. There are three uh, allied aircraft on the tail of one of mine. And easy going. This is the armament. Very, very easy. If I would actually aim properly. And when you hit, it's just devastating. Nice flat spin that you have there. So quick two easy kills. And when you look at it again, we have four kills between all of the Japanese teams so far. Eight enemies are dead. Four of them have crashed. And four were killed of which one of them bombed himself. You see... When you fly the Zero, it's really easy mode against the Americans. But even if they side climb, even if they make Boomer and Zoom attacks against you, they are so easy to avoid. And if they are really skilled pilots, there is always that one thing that you can do. You go down on the deck and you turn into them so they can't Boom and Zoom through because there might be, you know, land or the ocean. And uh, if they would do you know, the, the, regularly, the regular boom and zoom attacks, they just would end up in the ground. So they have to go for shallower attack angles. And at some point, you just go into the head-on mode, which you then can take because 50 cals. Or you can uh, try to, I don't know, just turn fight them. And talking about turn fighting, watch this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm, machine gun fire and the hell <laughs> at this point I just stared at the screen and I was not really amused I was not really angry though I was more like confused <laughs> we just have two casualties and half of our casualties were by team killing there is just one American left <laughs> in other news I'm still flying <laughs> with over half my wing gone and I can still a little bit maneuver and I can you know try to go back to the airfield and maybe do some crash landing if I would be in a fucking wolf I would be dead already in terms of you know being in the ocean without any chance of recovery same goes for every BF109 every p51 every p47 you know i never survived something like this in terms of still flying yes i'm registered as being dead and if i would be the last player on my team and would have died like that with you know one wing uh, being shut off the ticker would run down already so you know it's all the more amusing and you know, it's not like I have to work incredibly hard to stay in the air. I'm just flying. This is a very, very nice flight model. In many respects, you share these characteristics of the flight model without any instructor interferences, with very sharp response, with many of the Russian planes. And I actually survived the battle. Now, there would be so much more to talk about, but there is just simply not enough time in this commentary. And uh, yeah, again, this landing on the Yamato never happened. I never was team killed, so let's have a look at the results. Two player and two AI planes were shot down, giving me, together with a victory, a premium account, and of course the talisman of a premium plane, nearly 70,000 silver line. And over 8,800 research points. And I was third in team with 2,572 score points. And if you just count up the kills, nearly half of the enemy team ultimately crashed. 
So this is the reason why it's rather rare to show you a gameplay with a lot of kills in the Japanese team. Why? Well, Japanese teams can fly very aggressively. The enemy, or rather the Americans, they just crash so often and then there is not too much left and then you have a high competition because all the rest of the Japanese planes are also very very good. The Zero ultimately is a very nice plane to fly and in terms of research points you would be cheaper off having a talisman on a tech tree version. However, this plane by itself, if you are not interested in grinding through the Japanese tech tree is a very nice addition for RRB. In terms of um, ground uh, RB or ground forces, this is a pure air superiority fighter and it shuts down any attempt of the enemy team to gain uh, air superiority. You can shoot down Sky Raiders, which are the bane of Axis teams and just show them dominance. Anyways, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the commentary, the video. So thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Give this video a like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more, and we will see each other in the skies of War Thunder.